Hey everybody, um, so those of you that don't know me, my name is Rachel Miller. I graduated from the University of Massachusetts Lowell. I got my degree in civil and environmental engineering and while I was there, I was a part of the American Society of Civil Engineers, actually still am, <laughs> but I was part of the student chapter when I was there. And that started my involvement with the Boys and Girls Club. So, you know, I'm really excited to answer these questions for you guys and kind of see what goes from there. And if you have any further questions or you're a little bit more curious about anything that I talked about, um, you know, feel free to talk to your student leaders um, and directors at the Boys and Girls Club about reaching out to me and seeing what else I can put together in a video or a short email. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's start out with my favorite and least favorite part of my career path. So I am a project engineer in the construction industry. I do a lot of project management work, so managing um, construction projects that are going on. I've done heavy highway, so roadway construction, all the way to now I'm in the utility um, world, so I'm dealing with the underground utilities. Um, but my favorite part of construction as a whole is really being able to see it on you know these plans that are given to me and go through the bidding process and then managing it and I get to see it happen so you're kind of watching something that was given to you on plans in real life you know be completed and be built and um, reconstructed and to me that's amazing I find it fascinating I love it um, you know everyone's different but I love that I love watching that process so that's probably my absolute favorite part and just being able to manage that whole process from start to finish is it's pretty exciting. So least favorite part, um, you know, construction stressful. It is. Uh, there's a lot of safety involved. It can be difficult. Um, there's a lot of correspondence that's going on, a lot of people management, a lot of back and forth. And um, it can be a little stressful. It can be a high stress situation but it's fun, it's exciting, and it's, you know, ever changing. So you're always on your toes and it doesn't, it's not mundane, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, another thing that's difficult, and you know, let's be honest here, I'm a female in a male dominated industry. It's, um, it can be difficult sometimes. You will come across some old timers that believe that women shouldn't be in the construction world. And, you know, luckily for me, I have a pretty um, strong head on my shoulders and I'm able to just know you know, I know my stuff. I know this project. I know that, you know, I can manage anything that's given to me. And when you have that confidence in yourself, in your career, um, or even if you're a little, I don't know if I do or not, fake it. Pretend that you have the confidence. You know the stuff. And you go for it. Um, they will respect you. They, it's been a work in progress. Uh, luckily, I work with a company now who's very progressive, who really encourages women to be in this field and they help you succeed and everyone's very successful and wants you to grow and it's amazing um but you know for you young ladies that are watching this and want to get into this field you may run into some um of those that don't believe you should be in this field and that's just the truth but don't let it discourage you because i promise no matter what if you show them your work and show them that you are meant to be there no matter how hard they push you'll strive and you'll win because you have the head on your shoulders to do so and um you're there you're the future you know and i you know promise promise guarantee because i run into it you'll gain that respect and honestly one of my managers i'll never forget it i didn't even realize this i'm going through my interview process right and they, they asked me some question, and I don't even remember what the question was, but I just remember them commenting on my answer afterwards, and it was kind of, you know, something along this lines, like, what's something, issue you've come along with or whatever, and I, you know, I said, you know, sometimes um, I'll go out in the field and people think that, oh, she's cute, she's sweet, like, oh, is she the supervisor's daughter, is she this, and I'm like, no, actually, I'm the, you know, the project engineer, I'm the project manager on this job, and they're a little surprised, and I run into that a lot. And um, now everyone knows, oh no, she's a project manager. You know, you walk on that site with that confidence. But they were surprised that I was able to admit like, yeah, I know that sometimes I'm not taking this seriously, but I will prove it to you. Like I know this work. So um, that's another piece that can be a little difficult. But yeah, other than that, I love it. I love the construction industry. Um, and they're, they're pretty supportive now, you know, we're really coming up on that time where 
it's soon it's I can see it. it's going to be 50 50 eventually I'm hoping <laughs> I'm still you know usually the only female in the room but still I'm hoping so yeah um let's see what the next question is so uh, as far as you know am I reliant on others in order to be successful in my career path yeah actually you know I am you you do you have to lean on your manager uh, a little bit here and there you do have to lean on your coworkers because you're learning you're growing you are um you know, learning how to be an asset for your company so that you have all that knowledge that your manager has um, and that your coworkers have and you're able to then make your own decisions on situations and become a manager yourself, right? So that's, you know, that building cycle. And um, it's the same as in school. You need to rely on your professors. I know a lot of people are scared to ask for help um, because, you know, it, it's hard to be vulnerable. It's hard to say, I need help. I don't know this and not feel a little bit like, oh man, why can't I figure this out on my own? But it's okay. People want you to ask them for help. Your managers want to see you striving to be better. And so if you're asking for help and then they see you take the information they gave you and then watch you learn it and be able to apply it in the next situation without their help successfully, that's huge. So yes, ask for help, rely on your management team, rely on your coworkers um, to help you succeed and move forward. Um, you know, and then also, like I said, back to the professors, just really quick, I want to touch on that. You know, they are there to help you. I know sometimes it may not seem like it and it can be really difficult um, with certain teachers and professors, but if they can't, go to the tutoring center, find someone that can. Asking for help is not bad you are just trying to better yourself and your career and move forward. So, you know, absolutely. That's a hurdle that I had to get over. So don't, you know, think like, oh, she asked for, no, I had to get over that hurdle. It's a pride thing too. Like you don't want to ask for help. You want to be able to do it on your own. That's totally my style, but no, ask for help, you know, take that vulnerability step and it'll, it'll really help you in the long time. Um, sorry, long term, <laughs> um, with your goals and your career path for sure. As far as education and training goes um, for my field of work, it's civil engineering degree, construction management degree, um, project management certification, so your PMP. That definitely suffices in most construction fields um, for being a project manager. They do really like construction management or civil engineering degree, though. They love that. Um, that definitely will give you a leg up on your competition when you are you know, putting your resume in, as well as having those backgrounds of internships, like we talked about before. Um, yeah, so really just understanding what it takes to be in the uh, construction field and managing those projects, which both your construction management or civil engineering degree will give you a pretty good idea in those courses. So, okay, advice that I would have for students in my career path, internships, absolutely get an internship, get multiple, work on co-op, take that co-op semester course take a semester and do that internship it is going to be so helpful for you you will have a leg up when you graduate everyone's going through co-op or an internship now you have that real world experience you're able to see what it's like in the job force you're able to really see if this career that you've been studying for in school is actually what you want to do as a job um, I definitely realized through my internships that I wanted to get into the construction project management field. Um, you know, I had different diverse um, opportunities and it really, really helped me hone in on what I wanted to do. So I'm telling you, take those internships, do the summer internship, do a winter internship, take the co-op course if, you know, your college provides that and take that semester. I know it's like, oh, I have to graduate a semester later. Who cares? It took me a little bit longer um, to graduate because I did, you know, co-ops and struggled a little bit here and there. But I'm telling you, biggest advice, please get an internship. It's going to help you. It's going to be amazing for your career and you're going to grow so much from it for sure. All right. I hope you guys are able to take something from my video and you're going to be able to, you know, apply it in your own life learn something. Um, and like I said earlier, if you have any other questions or you're curious about something else or, you know, you have anything, whatever. <laughs> um, 
feel free to talk to Kara and, you know, kind of let her know, hey, uh, you know, I'm curious about this part or whatever it was. And she can reach out to me and I can either put together another Q&A video or, um, you know, just a short little email blurb that she can read off to you. So, yeah. And I hope uh, you guys are ready to go out and chase after those goals because it's work, but it's worth it. I promise.